What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Mark Panda here. Let's say hello to an old pen friend. If you've been following the channel, you know Grafton Pen is one of my favorite pens because it's an aluminum pen. I think it's made in China. And the beauty of this is that it will take Pilot G2 rollerball refills, which I love, and especially in the 0.5 and the 0.7 like this, they just write really fine and they're great and they're cheap and they're easy to come across. Now, the Grafton pen is a stylish looking aluminum pen. It looks like a custom pen, but um, while I've shown you the black, the silver, and the gunmetal, and I think the gunmetal is my favorite color. It's just a beautiful kind of uh, dark, sinister, but executive professional color scheme. I thought, you know what? The only one I've never checked out is this gold finish, and it's a limited edition finish. And so why not take a look at this too? Because to be honest, if it's a limited edition pen, I love the limited edition, limited edition. It's $105,000 limited edition. That's from the original Bad Boys movie, in case you didn't know. Um, and so why not check it out? And I could always use another one of these pens. In fact, when I went to buy this particular pen, I thought, why not throw another gunmetal in there too? And the gunmetal sold out. So I'm not sure what the deal is. If they're just sold out on supply, you can go to everyman.com, I think. Oh, everyman.us and buy these. But um, the fact that it was sold out kind of actually worried me a little bit because I'm like, are they just resupplying or are they not... Um, building anymore, especially the gunmetal. It's just, I think, the most beautiful one. But this gold is pretty nice. If you have the gold iPhone, iOS devices, this is probably a color scheme that you might like. It's actually really kind of a bright champagne. I will call it even a little more gold-toned than the Apple devices. It really looks nice, but it's not overbearing. Obviously not super flashy like a cross gold pen. When I graduated high school, I got one of those and that's like a very shiny gold. You can see here, it's got a, like a bead blasted look. The seam right here is right down here at that top uh, cut. So you have some nice knurling. It has a pencil feel because it's all um, pretty sharp edged, you know? And what I want to do here is open this up and I'll tell you right there, we've got a, uh, well, I'm going to say this is actually a rollerball refill. So the nice thing about this is I actually don't have to even change anything except for getting a little wax off the tip here. Um, and I can just use the sucker right out of the box as opposed to robbing one of the um, refills out of a pilot. Let me just see here. Yeah, that's a rollerball, baby. So it's what's also kind of interesting about this is I'm not sure what the deal dealio is, but sometimes they come with a ballpoint and sometimes they come with a rollerball. Maybe this is because of the limited edition one. And what you'll notice here is I'm just tapping this because uh, when it comes with the rollerball refill, it's a longer refill. And so there's a little aluminum spacer, probably about a quarter of an inch that goes up here to take up that extra gap. Because this one came with the rollerball, it does not have that spacer in there. So in this case, I probably don't have, let me just take a peek here. If it came with any accessories. Oh, no, boom, look at that. It comes with the spacer here. So uh, depending on which refill you get, and I'm not actually sure how they've determined that, you get uh, that spacer in there so you can go back. You've got a nice like uh, stainless steel clip here, a couple of screws that hold it down, it's silver finished. I really like this kind of straight beveled edge and the round nature of the clicker here. It's just really comfortable. You don't have to worry about finger getting fatigued or uh, hurt on it. And as you can see, I still have a little wax on there. So don't, don't uh, blame the pen for that. I'm gonna get ink all over my hands now. So best, best not do uh, any more videos after this. But just a beautiful pen. It's about the same size as any other pen. But like I said, it just has a, a custom look and feel like you don't get in other pens, man. And um, is it worth it? You know, the funny thing about this is I've collected pens for years and this pen is 35 bucks. Uh, and I thought that was a very good price, especially for something that's milled custom, writes great. Uh, it's made out of kind of durable materials like this. It's very light too, because of its aluminum construction. But some people were like, poo poo, $35? Well, I'll tell you what, if you go out and buy a Waterman or a Parker or a Mont Blanc or, you know, some of the other high-end pens, uh, you're going to pay a lot more, a lot more uh, for a pen of uh, maybe lesser quality in some ways. You know, some of that resin uh, is just like a plastic and it doesn't last that long. I don't think of an aluminum like this will hold up much longer. And the, the, or, the gold is really cool looking. So anyway, if you want to pick it up, like I said, it's a limited edition color and you can get it at every man dot uh, dot us i don't know why i cannot remember that everyman.us 
Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description, but I really like it. Just wanted to show this one to you. Peter Von Panda, out.